Hello, and welcome back to Paddling Pool 219. I'm Asek, joined here by Pat, and we're about to watch this next match. Uh, hashtag, hashtag, RR versus No Way. Uh, starting off on Rainmaker's Court. Pat, what do you think of this map? Uh, Rainmaker's Court got very wide map. There is so much that can be done, and these two teams, they're pretty used to Paddling Pool. We've seen them a lot. They know this map very well. Like, Going once you go through the checkpoints and uh, are able to p push a bit further, things can snowball very, very fast. And it's all about what team is able to, to snow get that snowball the best. And uh, I, I guess we're gonna see that very soon. Yeah, this map is really just about breaking through that choke point. Once you're first, once you're past the first checkpoint, uh, it is a very easy push all the way down to like low 30. Mm. Uh, so if you can get through that checkpoint, then that's a really good push. But then again, the enemy can also get through that checkpoint really easily. Or not really easily, but once they do get past it, it's really easy to push really far. It's honestly one of my favorite maps. I think it's really underrated, but maybe that's just because I play dualies. I can go across those grates really well. Um, <laughs> but we are headed right into this. I'm really excited to see these comps. I haven't really commentated a tournament in the new season yet. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what people are running. And is that... Is that yeah. a Snipe Rider? Yes, so that's uh, that's not normal, even for this <laughs> new meta. But uh, Tactic Cooler has become very good, and on this map, like there's so much open space, and Snipe Rider is, is very much, I, I'd say, viable. Not the, the weapon I was expecting, though, but uh, it looks like uh, uh, he's getting a few picks and he's getting control of me, not grabbing the Rainmaker yet. Still trying to establish some control on Numa. Has to move back. And I, I, I've seen Numa before uh, trying the Snipe Rider and getting a bit of success with it, but um, not so much. Like, it's. I mean, it, if it works for you, still keep using it. But uh, I, I feel like it's still pretty hard to, to get results with it. Yeah, definitely a strange weapon. I'm really excited to see if I can get some work done, though. Uh, one thing I do think is pretty interesting as well is you're seeing a machine on both sides. I would honestly expect the machine to be pretty dead right now, but I think the kit is just too good. Uh, like, the main weapon is really becoming not that great, but the oh. kit is too strong. But the Rainmaker does reset, and that is going to be pretty good for No Way here. That was really risky having the Rainmaker sitting there right on that checkpoint, right for the uh, grab to try and break away. Uh, and there comes the pop uh, for No Way. The Stamper is kind of caught out in mid. We're gonna have to see if No Way can take advantage of that fact. Yeah, No Way finally into mid, finally getting somewhere, but oh, and that Booyah Bomb is going to stop things a lot for No Way, and No Way back on the defensive. Are, are not relenting, and they are looking probably to grab Rainmaker again as soon as they get rid of that Sniper. But the sniper is establishing so much defense right Yeah, I don't think we've seen the sniper get. Uh, I don't know if we've seen them get any picks, uh, but they have been supplying a whole lot of pressure for their team. Uh, definitely a lot of assists, especially with that tactical or in this brink looter to help supply paint. Even though they do have a junior on their team. Yeah, um, that's a checkpoint. I believe. Yes, that's a checkpoint. All no way. Ooh. That's that is the lead, but very yeah. small lead there. The smallest lead, and um, oh, oh, they just need to, to get to the checkpoint and get just a tiny bit after that. And right now, three <laughs> members of RR are, are far deep in there, ready to allow the Rainmaker to get in. They had great on the reset though. That's, uh, that was pretty slow, like, they had to hold their ground while the Rainmaker was setting. Yes, indeed, but here comes the Rainmaker. They're, they might be able to push past this choke point, but it's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be a really big toss-up to see if they can actually get that much past it. But you can see that that Sniper Rider is actually pressuring them so much that they might not even be able to break through. The Rainmaker's being forced to back up the Sniper Rider, Ooh. dropping in with the Tactical, or going for a really aggressive play here. That's what you can do when the Tacticular is on, like just get that aggressive play that stops the Rainmaker, gives so much time for your team to get back in. And RR still just two points behind and still looking 
to get in or use the hand. Just absolutely creating mayhem with that in Casta, but it's another Rainmaker reset on mm. RR. Not getting past that checkpoint. Yeah, this is a really strange game of Rainmaker Sports Cards here. Mm. Not a single team has managed to break past the checkpoint. But very good defense from both sides. Uh, but I think it I think it is just still like neck and neck here. Like I, oh, yeah. Like, there is only a minute left in the game, but I do think a push is going to happen that's going to get really far in. It's just a matter of which team it's going to happen Ooh. for. And right now, no way. Oh. With the what? Junior, it's the Junior, that's going to be a delayed wipe and RR. You have to grab the Rainmaker RR, come on. And if they are back on the attack, back on the pressure, and back on how do we fight a sniper writer, by the way, we, none of us ever notice that. Uh, but we do see that this could be RR's final break. They just have to get right past that checkpoint. But no, the Rainmaker goes down, I believe, to that machine. That's going to be a huge pick, and with RR going three down, that might be the game secured for no way. RR is going to have to pull off a miracle to get uh, this Rainmaker and to get the lead here. But if they can pick off that Rainmaker, it's going to be pretty huge for them, especially with the Rainmaker pushing forwards here. This machine gets this pick, that's huge! The machine gets the pick! RR is too down, but if they can get an advantage here, they have a decent chance, but ooh, it's just the Junior on no way. The junior, uh, they, they have, have to top low. They have to, they have to, the junior. Have to get rid of the Junior. That's a delayed wipe on no way. RR has a last chance to get that push. They need to get that push, and so far they haven't pushed farther than these checkpoints. And Luma looking to seal the deal with the snipe right of that's going to be stuck. Ooh, three it's just the T Tech! It's just the T Tech right now! Oh. The T Tech gets it! Woo! What a defensive game, ASEC, and both of these teams really not pushing in, really taking as much time as they, uh, they can. And that's going to go. And in no way's favor, by a, like by a drop of ink. <laughs> wow, dude, I feel like I'm in an alternate universe right now. What the heck was going on in that game? <laughs> That's one of the weirdest games I've seen in a while. Uh, I think the sniper had really contributed to that. Something else I think is interesting is that uh, no ways comp. They had a comp that seems very passive on the surface. Uh, the junior is pure support. The splash that they had, I think they had a splash, wow, I can't remember, uh, <laughs> is also support. The T-Tech, a little bit more supportive, and then the Snipe Rider is a backline. But they had the Tactic Cooler, which maybe helped with their aggression. I personally would have probably chosen, I, I think like something like a Tetra would go really well on that comp. Or even like an S-Blast with the paint from the Junior uh, could have really complemented that. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, I think. That comp has a lot of potential, I think they just need some sort of main aggression, but they did win it, so maybe they're cooking something that I'm not seeing. <laughs> I mean, it's a very defensive comp on the side of no way, but as long as, as long as RR doesn't find a way to really pierce through, to really get through and um, advance and go further than where no way is allowing them to go, RR, they... They won't get anywhere if there's constantly a sniper rifle uh, and a bubble and a machine to, to stop them. And speaking of machine, like you, you said earlier, I don't expect oh. machine to come back. Machine yeah. is still very much here. And like, go watch Aracel. Uh, machine is no longer meta defining, it's no longer on every map mode in every comp, but it's still very much a strong weapon. It's still very much uh, a very valuable option, and not just because of the kit, like the main weapon still is so so good on ledges. Yeah, uh, I, I can definitely see that. I think I think they people reacted with the machine nerf a lot, but I think they toned it down in just the right way. I think toning down its fire rate was pretty much the perfect change to make to the weapon, and it feels like it's in a balanced spot now. The weird thing is it doesn't even feel wrong for the fire rate to be slower. Like, it feels more correct. That feels like the fire rate should have been from the very start. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Especially, like, almost all of the balance changes have felt right. Like, the big bubbler change, it feels like, yeah, but big bubbler should be that big. That feels appropriate. 
machine should be that slow. Like, nothing feels out of place. And they've made some pretty drastic changes, but it felt like... It felt like this is what it should have been from like from the beginning. I think the balance patch is really good. Yeah, there's like... Honestly, with the balance and the meta game that is developing in this new season is so interesting, so aggressive, and so diverse. And I love. Yeah, to I see do think. Like, like, like I do think that they. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 go. <laughs> sorry, I do think they probably should have toned down ballpoint a little bit more. Maybe a slight main weapon nerf, and I think they should have nerfed splash a bit more. Because I can definitely see, even with all the new balance changes. I can definitely just see top teams running like double ball point, double splash, and getting away with it. Either way, this is going to be going into game two. Uh, we're on Umami Ruins here, which is a really interesting map. Uh, both teams running the same comp, and that was a machine, not a splash, that's my bad. But I think it is really interesting because no weapons can really fight that well on no way. The T-Tech is the only exception, really. Uh, and even then, its kit is a bit more supportive. Uh, I think it's really, it's an interesting cop. Oh, and uh, Ooh. no way has gone two down, three down, four down. That's a very early wipe from RR. They are not messing around anymore. This, uh, honestly, uh, if no, if, if RR plays their cards right, this is game. Yeah, <laughs> That's how Mommy goes. And uh, they were pretty surprised by what No Way was doing on the previous game. And you, you can expect like a team to have a bit of adaptation mm -hmm. when you have such a different comp. But right now, uh, uh, they had the discussion. And they are in full force, keeping the zone. And right now, it's just 40 points away from victory. And are uh, uh, still in full control and keeping No Way away. Yes, indeed. And it isn't looking super good with No Way continuing to go down. 20 points left on the clock. They need to do something and they need to do it fast or else this game will be wrapped up just like that. It's five points left on the clock and they're two down, three down, four down. And that is going to be a zero to 100 KO. <laughs> that was the opposite of the previous game. <laughs> we had the slowest, most defensive, Always in mid game, and now RR decided, okay, enough. We are going to your spawn, and we are staying there. The two sides of the Splatoon 3 map design <laughs> coin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was insane. Uh, that was. I think that was. I think that was really where the defensiveness of uh, No Way's comp really started to show its cracks. I think because they just couldn't get back in. Uh, they couldn't take a fight, uh, super well. I think it was, it was less one-sided than you'd think. They did get, uh, they did get RR1 down in some scenarios. I think they just should have played off of their advantages a little better there. Uh, because like, yeah. they had a couple of chances, but they weren't able to take them in time. Uh, but on the flip side, you could say that RR was just able to really hold their bases even while they were down. Mm. Uh, which I just think is really good for them uh so that yeah that really was the opposite of last game uh rr is not messing around anymore <laughs> yeah and if like the very open mid profited for no way in the first game and now we are going to under the skill way and or, or they have a blaster, they have a stamper with zip Gasso, and we've seen what they can do once they manage to get past mid so uh, I have a feeling that uh, No Way has to find a way to defend so much better and to, as you said, win the fights. They need to win the fights if they want to, to get something done on Undertow. Yeah, I've got to say, I really like RR's comps. Uh, specifically this one they're just running now. It's unconventional, but it definitely feels really thought out. They have chip damage galore. Uh, <laughs> With the Rapid Pro kind of holding yeah. down the fort and supplying so much chip damage, it just lets the Machine and Stamper play really aggro like they did last patch. Uh, and with the Splash to kind of hold down the comp and make up for the for the lack of paint of the other three weapons. I think it's a nice glue to hold it together. Yeah, and we are going to watch that right away in the tiebreaker. That's a sick animation. <laughs> oh yes it is. Props to whoever made that. Props to our graphic design team. Sick. <laughs>
That's Marjora, I believe, and we are in. The only change in weapons is uh, the switch to a Splash Neo on the side of RR. Yeah, I think the end splash makes a lot of sense here. Uh, the suction bomb on the tower is really good, and the tri-strike output is just insane on that thing. Uh, and it can be more useful than crab on tower control, just because it has such stopping power on the objective. Uh, but there we go, RR going two down, but no wait, also going two down. The bubble on tower is going to help them get a little bit of a footing here. Uh, and the Junior's kind of trying to push in here. Yeah, uh, the tech cooler on the tower is going to help the pick gets eaten by the terrain. Ooh, that's that's the downside of tactical tactical on tower control. It feels like it just disappears sometimes. But that's what you want to do if you're no way. There are trades we have to be to. Well, we have everything we need to defend with every weapon, so we can still move forwards while you guys are trying to get your bearing back. But RR is back in there, and it's their turn to attack right now. The tri strike is going to enable the tower to move forward. And, uh, I'm sorry, I have trouble seeing stream as a commentator right now, but it looks like the tower is back into it. Yeah, the stream is a little glitchy for us at the moment, I think. Uh, but I can still kind of make out what's going on. RR is one down. Uh, and they have that. This is going to be no way's chance to really push the tower here. I think yeah. it's really interesting that their comp is getting this kind of work done against such an aggressive comp. Uh, really getting some momentum here and pushing in, which I think is what they want here. If the momentum swings in their favor, then they can do really good work with their weapons. Uh, I think when they're in the dis when they're in disadvantage state, I think they can struggle a bit. But this is the exact situation they want to be in. We are coming out from the machine, gonna land on tower, which is really gonna help clear everyone off. Uh, and it's just going to be that T-Tech, uh, but we have seen what that T-Tech can do when they're the last one alive, so we'll have to see if they can make this work. And it does look like they do go down here, uh, but I think they force a trade there. Yeah, they do manage to force a trade off. Uh, and that is going to be three on three. Uh, team's pushing back into pretty even ground here. And it feels like the trades are all going into Noe's favor, Noe. And oh, oh, these two teams have been able to, to do so much, but RR hasn't been able to score any points so far. It's like Ooh. no way has full control of this map, and with the composition that uh, RR has, I, I'm pretty surprised that this is the case. Yes, indeed, and here we see Griabom coming out from the machine. Uh, we're gonna have to see what happens here. Uh, Booyah Bomb comes out, uh, it misses the tower though, uh, barely touching it, uh, but yeah. it is going to shoot that big bubble, I think. Uh, and it is going to be, RR is still in disadvantage, they really just need to regroup here and find a way to get their footing back. Uh, but no, they're going to continue to go down and stagger. This is really good for no way here, they have a huge stagger on RR. Uh, and coming into the big checkpoint, that's going to be very valuable for them, but it looks like they're being forced to back up here. Yeah, no way back to the final checkpoint, but they don't have really the tool of aggressivity to be right under RR's point. That's where the blast, um, so all the aggressivity that RR has, that's uh, so effective right there, right now. But it's a bit late for RR, and with less than a minute and a half, I think their way just to, to get past the first checkpoint, RR needs to find a way to stop that. That monster team, that is no way, apparently. Yeah, the Bomb coming out is going to be a very big help here, and it looks like they are starting to get a little bit of momentum. They really just need to try and force fights here. Uh, if they can fight together, then no way is really going to struggle, uh, because RR's weapons fight really well together here. Uh, but Tactical is going to come out from that Snipe Rider, and we're going to see if they can line their shots, if they can make this work. The Bia Bomb is going to come out, make things a little bit of a mess for No Way here. A Whale coming out as well, and Tri Strike. There is nowhere for this Snipe Rider to go, and this is probably going to be them securing this checkpoint. But no, the Bia Bomb comes out, but it is just going to be a speed bump here. Uh, and that is going to be two down on No Way. This is RR's chance, approaching the 20 point mark with No Way going two down. This is going to be really huge for them. No Way is three down, it's just the T Tech yet again. Can the T Tech clutch at the tower? No. Uh, get it. That that's is going to be lead for RR. That's lead and that's almost a checkpoint. That's that's a checkpoint and that's going to be game going to RR. Ooh. 
Riva K. Oh, it's like no way had four minutes of domination on that game. And uh -huh, uh -huh, they have one push. And that's all it takes to get back in. What a comeback by RR. Yeah, that was a really interesting game there. I... Yeah, that was... <laughs> really interesting set, to be honest. Uh, oh, yeah. It didn't feel too one-sided there. Uh, really, the only game that felt one-sided was, was the Zones game. Mm -hmm. But I do think... I, I, I don't know. I think it's a really good game. Really good set. Both teams were very strong there. Unconventional comps from both sides, but they both made pretty good work of them. Uh, I think RR just managed to get that one little leading edge on uh, in the game. And I think with how snowbally their comp is, and I, they just managed to make it work. But I do believe we are going to be going onto a short break. Indeed, we are. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back very soon. <laughs> 